Good morning, JRC. How are you? It's Thursday morning. What are the phrases and thoughts and ideas that have been getting you through this time? There's a lot of different things out there. There's a lot of different recordings and teachings, things to read, things to do, people to supervise, coworkers, also known as children and pets, to uh, adapt your spaces to. It's a lot. One of the things that I have often blessed new parents with is to say, may you be blessed with creativity and flexibility. And that couldn't be more true this week. We had a plan, things changed, we're flexible. To say it over and over again, how is it that we can evolve and change? They say that necessity is the mother of invention and we have had a lot of needs and we've been a lot of, uh, we've done a lot of creative things and that's pretty wonderful. One of the things that uh, has been going through my mind is the story of King Solomon. King Solomon is, and there's two versions, because of course in Judaism, multiple opinions for the same thing. Solomon, the king, is trying to figure out what to do in this moment. And everyone is coming to him for advice. What should I do? How should we move through this place? How do we solve this problem? How do we get through this crisis? And one version of the story is that Solomon simply says to his followers, you need only know these three words, gam ze ya'avor, this too shall pass. And that is the simplest wisdom that he passes on. The other version of the story though, is that Solomon is the one who is fretting. He is the one who is stressed, who cannot understand or comprehend how it is that he's going to move the people as their governmental leader through all of these different places of being. He has no patience, he keeps flailing. And his advisors, one of his perhaps poorest advisors or uh, someone who doesn't have the status that he does comes to him and inscribes quite simply on a medallion or on a bracelet and says those same words, Gamze Ya'avor, this too shall pass. Those three words are a very simple reminder that we are not the most important thing in the universe, that this moment in time will pass, that this period of self-isolating, this period of unknown, this period of economic instability, this period of crisis, this period of fear, this period of illness will pass. We don't know when, we don't know how long, we don't know what the outcome will be, but we know that nothing lasts forever. That's what Ecclesiastes says, for everything there is a time, and we don't get to know that timetable. For Jews, we don't often talk about having faith. We don't often talk about how do we believe that something or someone is taking care of us. But I think one of the things that we do have is trust. Trust that we know that this lifetime is the lifetime that matters. Trust that we have what to give in this world. Trust that we are not the most important things and that often the person in front of us who's needing our help, who's needing our support, in fact, is what is most important. And so as you go through your day, gam ze ya'avor, this too shall pass. And because just like Solomon, there's two versions to the story, this too shall pass means that we only have this time. And there are those who are in front of us who are needy. And there are ways in which our hearts are crying out. The Psalm says, Elecha Adonai ekra, ve'el Adonai et chanan. To you I cried out, and where did my help and my hope come from? It came from that which is the source of all. Whether you call that God, whether you call that Shekhinah, whether you call that the force of life and goodness in the universe, whether you call it the force, whether you call it the magic in Harry Potter, whether you call it nature, whether you call it something that is so much larger than we are, that it is surely to exist as it existed before us and it will exist after us. The question for today is while we wait, Gamze Ya'avor, this too shall pass, how will we continue to make meaning? How will we continue to bide our way through this time into the unknown? And how will we connect with one another so that this time when it passes, we can say, wow, I didn't waste it. This is what I did to get myself through. This is what I did to help someone else get through. This too shall pass means that we are here as part of the fabric of something that is so much larger than we are. We don't know where it came from. We can do our best to mitigate the suffering in the world, but the suffering is here. And so we can also do our best to be just as good, just as kind, just as patient 
as we wait through this particular storm and hope we get to the other side in a place that undoubtedly will be transformed. Have a good day.